friends, I'm Heidi with Oni Go Stamping and welcome to my craft corner. I'm really excited that you are joining me tonight because I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy card using some free stamps and paper and uh, a different uh, rubber stamping technique than what I normally do. It's something I don't do very often. It is by no means new. It is as old as they come. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's something we don't do as often anymore. If you are here and joining me live, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know you're watching live. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching the replay, welcome to you as well. I'm glad you are here. Go ahead and leave a comment that you're watching the replay so that I know uh, later that you are here too. So, all right. Um, yeah, and if it is your first time joining me here um, on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you always know when I'm gonna be live um, because I do go live twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, but once in a while I sneak in for surprise live. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you always know when I'm going to be live. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch around my cameras and we're gonna go ahead and get started on tonight's card. So let me see, am I gonna pick the right one tonight? Probably not. <laughs> Oh, I did. All right, here we go. So this is the stamp and the papers that we're going to be using this, this evening. This is the Wonderful World stamp set and the Wonderful World paper. Now, this is in the Celebration brochure, and you can get it free with a $100 purchase. So really, really awesome. Hi, Kimberly. So glad you're joining me live tonight. Um, so it is really, really awesome. It's got some beautiful papers. Let me just show you the paper. I don't even have full pieces of all of it anymore, but one side, of course, are these beautiful florals and even some big ones that you could fussy cut out and use just by themselves. Really, really pretty florals. And then the other side, of course, as always, is designs. I think I hit my camera there, sorry about that. So you just get some fun little designs on the other side. I love this yellow stripe, it's so bright. So just like that, isn't that fun? Those are the papers, and like I said, this is a celebration item. You will find it in the celebration brochure. Let me tell you what page it's on. Do, do, do. This is on pages 14 and 15, and uh, yeah, it comes free with a $100 purchase. So you could grab some markers, some ink, some other card stocks and things, and then have um, pattern paper and stamps all ready to go. Great if you're just getting started. All right, I'm gonna start. I have a piece of rich razzleberry cardstock. This is five and a quarter by four inches. And I am going to start by stamping some um, stamping some flowers on here. And I don't know why I did not get out my, um, didn't get out my inks. That was silly of me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab just some rich razzleberry ink. And I wanna just start by stamping some flowers in the corner, in the lower left corner. This is just gonna be the background, so. I'm just going to start by stamping over here. My Rich Razzleberry ink pad is nice and juicy. So I'm going to just come in just a little partial one up there. All right. So there we go. Just down in that lower left corner. Really easy. Now I'm going to come in with a blending brush. Now you don't have to do this step. This is kind of an extra bonus step. I just like the way it looked. It just added a little bit of extra um, color on the edges. I'm just gonna come in and I tap this off on a clear block just to get some of that ink off. I'm gonna start off my piece of paper and then just pull it on and just come in just a little bit on the edges and the corner. I'm gonna go all the way around this piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. And again, this is just the same color ink. So it's not, you know, it's not really gonna make a huge difference. You're not gonna see a lot of it, but it just gives it a nice, um, a nice fade off on the edge, I think. But definitely if you're first starting out, this, is, well, this would be an easy step to just skip over, right? Hello, Vicki, welcome. So glad you're here. So I'm just coloring around on all four sides. And just bringing that in just a little bit. 
just kind of creates just a little bit of shadow on the edge. Now I have a little piece of the designer series paper that I'm going to use. This is one inch by four and a quarter, I believe. And this again, I really, really lightly want to come in and just grab the edges of this too. So not even re-inking my brush. I'm just using what's already on it. And just coming in around the edges. So there we go. That just adds kind of a little bit. That You can see it a little bit more on that um, piece of pattern paper because it's lighter in color. So this is going to go on here. I'm going to go ahead and adhere it right now. Let me grab my green glue. I'll just put a little green glue on here. And then this just goes right over here on this side. So just like that. There we go. All right, and now we're gonna work on the focal point. I'm just trying to make sure that's straight. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna pull back in my flower image and I'm actually gonna clean it off because we're gonna do something different. So I'm just cleaning this on my chamois. So I like to, and that rich razzleberry, reds, reds and purples sometimes don't like to come off. So I like to do it on that side. And then when I do, I need to re-wet my chamois, it's getting dirty. Is I just take it and I turn it over and sometimes having a double thickness there, it just gives it even more squishiness. I just push it down and that kind of helps get it off the sides. So, all right, so there's my stamp. Now I have a piece of basic white. I already cut this which, with my stitched rectangle dies, all right? So I cut it out again. If you're just starting, you wouldn't need to cut it with the stitch rectangle die. You can't hardly even see it in the camera there. Flip focus on there. So you can just see it has a little bit of stitching on the edge, but you could just cut a rectangle too. That would definitely work. Now, I am going to grab a couple of markers. I'm gonna grab my, um, what do I wanna say? Blackberry Bliss <laughs> stamp and write marker and my Mossy Meadow stamp and write marker. Now these are stamp and write markers. You guys have seen me many, many times I use the stamp and blends, um, but for this technique, you don't wanna use the stamp and blends. It won't work. Let me show you the difference. They look different, right? Different looking markers. These are stamp and write markers. The stamp and blends are alcohol markers. The stamp and write markers are water-based markers, all right? So that's what you wanna use for this technique. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Blackberry Bliss, and I'm gonna use the brush end. And I am just gonna color the flower portion of these stamps. So I'm just coloring this with my marker. And you know, when I'm not near the edges, it goes really fast. When you come in here towards the edge, then you might need to you know, slow down and figure out which goes where. Although if you mess up, it's not really that noticeable. Honestly. Okay, so there's our first flower, and then we'll come up here and do the same thing up here. And again, just trying to, you know, follow, follow the bottom edge of that flower where it hits, where it hits the stem. Because we're gonna come back in with the green and do the stem. All right, so now I have the Mossy Meadow and we're gonna do the same thing with the brush tip again. And I'm just gonna come in here and again, just try to pay attention where it's stem and where is it flower and just color right over the stem areas. Give that, let me see up here. And you guys know I got some more um, cards to share with you too, besides just this one. I of course have more this evening. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to huff on this, all right? So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna blow on it a little bit. And that is just kinda, it. make sure it's wet. If the ink has dried a little bit, it'll help re-wet it so that it stamps. So I'm just gonna stamp it down. And there we go, isn't that pretty? All right, now this stamp set is really awesome, but it does not have any sentiments. So for the sentiment, I actually grabbed 
my Ranunculus Romance stamp set. And I'm just gonna use this little Hello stamp. And I'm gonna stamp this with my Blackberry Bliss. So just ink up that Hello. And I'm just gonna stamp it down here, just like that. This card is almost finished, y'all. <laughs> it is so, so very easy. Actually, you know what, let's come in, let's do another one. Let's stamp um, for the inside of our card, shall we? So let me do this again. Here's my stamp again, we'll just color over it. And I don't even need to wash it because I'm using the same colors. So I'm just gonna come in and color it with the Blackberry Bliss first. Just like that. Hmm. While I'm doing that, y'all know that we have classes coming up. So I do um, two different styles of classes, online classes. Every month I do just a regular online class where we make three different cards. Come on up in August, I think it's on August 23rd, we're gonna be using the Simply Fabulous stamp set, which is like my favorite stamp set right now. Um, we're gonna use that and make three cards. I'm really excited for that. And then I actually sat down and looked and I picked out the stamps for the, uh, for the fall. So, so just uh, huffing on that again. And I'm just gonna stamp this on some white to put on the inside. So yeah, so I have the classes planned out for the fall. Well, not planned, it's not all ready to go yet, but I picked out the stamps for them. So I'll let you know what those are. I'm taking a piece of Blackberry Bliss, Bliss. I can't even talk, Blackberry Bliss. This is eight and a half by five and a half, of course, just folding it in half on that score line. So it's scored at four and a quarter. And I'm coming in with that first piece I did, and we're just gonna adhere that to the front. So in September, on September 27th, I'm going to be using the Fond of Autumn stamp set. It's on page 52 of the January to December, or the July to December mini catalog. And it's a really pretty floral autumn stamp. Um, so that's going to be coming up September 27th. And that's the day after my birthday. Fun. And then I thought we'd do something a little bit different in October. So in October, we're going to be using the Big Hooray stamp set. And that is just a big sentiment stamp set. Um, so I'm really excited. I think we'll probably do some different techniques um, and it should be a lot of fun. That is on page 60 of the annual catalog. Right now, I'm just putting some uh, stamp and dimensionals on the back of here just to pop this piece up a little bit. And then this is gonna go right on the front. Oh, so pretty. I'm gonna come in and put the, put the inside in too. Um, and then in November, I'm excited for this one. You guys, I really love this stamp set. I don't know, maybe you don't. I know it's not gonna appeal to everybody, but I'm excited for this. Um, we're gonna use the Yeti to Party stamp set in November. It is on page 38 of the uh, July to December mini catalog. And what I really love is that you can use it for Christmas, but you can also use it for birthdays and other occasions too. So we're gonna do a little bit of everything for that class. Um, in November. So that's really exciting. And then, all right, let me stop talking about classes for just a minute because we're going to put some embellishments on this card. What do you guys think? Woo! Pretty stuff, huh? So, so simple. I'm telling you, this is an easy, easy card tonight. So I have the Adhesive Fat Seasonal Sequin. Say that five times fast. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to come in with a few of the small ones. We're just going to put them right I'm gonna just line them up underneath the hello. So I'm gonna do the first, the H and the O, and then I'll do the one in the center, try to get that centered. So just three down there, just to kind of give it a very, a very geometric look. So what do you think? Oh, you love the colors? Me too, pretty, pretty colors. And you guys know I have some more cards. But before that, I thought tonight, since this was such an easy card, let's make the envelope pretty too. So I have the envelope and I have another piece of that designer series paper. And I am just gonna start by putting some adhesive on my envelope flap. We're just gonna decorate the envelope flap. Quick and easy. 
So I put some adhesive on there and then I'm gonna take my piece of designer series paper and just lay that right up against that fold and squish it down. Make sure it's gonna, yep, just like that. Make sure it's nice and lined up, good. And then we'll come in with my paper snips and I'll just cut this off. So in addition to the regular card class, and for the regular card classes, I try to always make sure that you just need um, the stamp set. Occasionally, if it's a punch bundle, you might need the punch with it. But usually I try to make those so they are just the stamp set. But then I'm also trying to offer more um, exclusive classes. Now these classes um, are not shown anywhere on any of my social media. I don't post any of the cards. Um, they're very, very exclusive. Um, the only way to get the stuff is, you know, in the class or get the tutorial. Um, and we make five cards for that. So for those, I'm going to do a couple sometime this fall. And again, I'm not sure if it's going to be September, October, November, whatever. Isn't that cute? Look at that. So much fun. It matches. Fun stuff. And I got more cards for you. But we're going to use, um, so for those exclusive classes, we're going to use the Celebrate with Tags from page 67 of the July to December. And then we're also going to use the uh, Brood for You and do some masculine, some more masculine cards. And that's on page 83 of the annual catalog. So lots of fun stuff coming up this fall. And of course, I'm going to be starting to put all that stuff on my website for you. All right, let's look at these cards. Here is another card where I use that same technique. This time I use some flirty flamingo to uh, color in the flower in mossy meadow. And the thank you I think is from plentiful plants. Um, and then here I cut with the basic border dies just to give it kind of a, I don't know, a rounded edge. <laughs> so just something a little bit different. And then I have a really simple birthday card. You can see I did the same technique here and here, but now I put a big piece of designer series paper underneath, and I grabbed the uh, sentiment from the flowering tulip stamp set and popped that on the top. So really super simple. Like this card would be so fast to pull together. Kimberly, you love my classes. Thank you. I'm, yeah, I'm excited for the fall. All right. This one is a zero stamping card. <laughs> There's no stamping on this. I actually cut these images out with a stitched rectangle dies from the um, designer series paper. So, and again, I use that basic borders dies to come along the edge, that fun yellow stripe, and it's all just pattern paper. So cool. Now this one, my husband says it hurts his eyes. I don't know. You let me know what you think. Um, I used a couple different patterns on here. Um, yeah, so it's a little over the top, um, but here I stamped my flowers with the rich razzleberry, and then I came in on the edges and I, um, blended in some old olive on the edges. And then um, I think, yeah, I used the stamps from the Ranunculus Romance and just added some around the edges to give it a little bit extra. But it is a lot. There's, a, you know, multiple patterns going on. Um, a lot of different things happening on this card. So those are my cards with that uh, wonderful world stamp set that is available free during celebration. We got one more month of celebration. Um, and of course, if you all have any questions about anything, you know I am happy to answer questions. Aw, oh, thank you, Vicki. The flowers really pop on that one, don't they? With that, um, I think it's the green around the outside. It really makes the inside pop out more. So yeah, really fun kind of playing with this um, to make some really super simple cards. So thank you all again for joining me tonight. I will see you guys next Tuesday night for my regular Stamp With Me Tuesdays. It is going to be um, Technique Tuesday. I don't know what technique I'm going to be using yet, but I am sure that it will be a fun one. Uh, so y'all have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.